Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Guy. This is Guy Talk Sports. Thank you for being here. Thanks for clicking on the thumbnail. It has been a while, but we have finally uh, got an update on the state of Tennessee versus the NCAA case. Um, has the NCAA just given up? Really seems that way. Uh, before we get into that, if you don't mind, bottom right over there, uh, please smash that subscribe button for me. Continue to help me grow this channel. Let's, uh, let's get into this. So like I was saying, big update in the Tennessee versus NCAA case. Uh, there's an article that was written yesterday by Craig Smith of A to Z Sports. Uh, so on, we had on February 23rd, the U.S. District Court Judge Clifton Corker, the one and only, uh, granted the preliminary injunction in favor of Tennessee, as well as the Commonwealth of Virginia, um, that basically stripped the NCAA of any power uh, to enforce their sort of bizarre NIL rules and regulations. Um, if you would like a refresher on this you know, entire case, what it's about, kind of the timeline of it all, I actually have a playlist dedicated, if you go to the page, uh, it's a playlist dedicated solely to those videos um, that kind of review the entire thing. Um, and so be sure to check that out if you want to review a little bit more about, you know, kind of this topic or it, even if it's just a refresher. Um, anyway, so the NCAA, after that ruling, had 30 days to file an appeal. Um, uh, so that would have made March 24th the deadline uh, for them to, to make this appeal. I think everyone expected them to do that because um, it, it was really their only option going forward was to appeal this decision other than just, I guess, sort of giving up. And uh, well, that deadline has now passed and nothing has been filed. And so to me, this really is the NCAA kind of throwing the white flag uh, rolling over on this issue. Uh, it, it was really, like I said, it was really their only option. And so for them to not do this appeal, I, it, it's it's essentially them giving up. And I, I think they fully realize, and, and Clifton Corker, the U.S. District Court Judge uh, Clifton Corker, basically came out and said, uh, you know, this is a lost cause. <laughs> Uh, it violates the Sherman Act, and they're probably going to lose this entire case. And I think they are now finally realizing uh, that there is no opportunity to win this case. And, uh, you know, I think they've just moved on. Uh, so it'll be interesting to, I guess, see how the rest of this case develops. Uh, and I'll, I'll be sure to make any updates that I find on the issue. So that's really it on this, uh, on this video. Just wanted to uh, bring out this update. Uh, again, Craig Smith of A to Z Sports, it's, it's a good article. If, if you want to read it, I'll include the link uh, in the description down below. Uh, thank you for, uh, for taking the time out, watching this video, clicking on the thumbnail, giving me a chance. I appreciate it. If you don't mind, comment down below. Tell me what you like, maybe don't like about the videos, how I can improve them. Comment about the material itself. Uh, hit that like button for me if you don't mind. And as always, smash that subscribe button for me. I very much appreciate it. See you next time.